Hey family, this is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy. And I am your favorite colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy herbs and natural living. And this conversation with your favorite colon hydrotherapist is all about body cavitation and the new craze that's going on with body cavitation. So I just had a conversation with my spiritual mom, one of my spiritual moms, I have two, one of my spiritual moms, and we were just talking about body cavitation, if I knew anything about it. And I said, I do. I said, however, what I'm noticing is that there is a piece that's missing um, that the client's not aware of. And she's like, well, what is that? And I said, well, body cavitation works on the lymphatic system, right? If you know anything about our lymphatic system, the lymphatic system runs parallel with your bloodstream. So your bloodstream has two jobs. Your bloodstream first job is to transport nutrients to all of your organs and cells, et cetera, et cetera. But also it picks up trash from the body and from the organs and dumps it into the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system will push it out of five channels of elimination. Men have four, women have five. And if you hear any noise, um, I'm sitting out on my balcony. It's a really, really, really beautiful night. I'm going to show you. Really, 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 really nice. You can see it. So, um, back to, let me just get situated there. Okay, here we go. So, um, men have four channels of elimination. Women have five. The five that we both have are our colon, our kidneys, our lungs, our skin, and then the fifth for women is our uterus. So if your practitioner who is giving you the service of body cavitation is not following up with the conversation and the education about filtering your five channels of elimination, where do you think that waste is going? Where do you think all of that work that she just put into, or he, because it could be a woman or a man, a practitioner, is doing all this work to break down your lymphatic system, but where is that waste going? Let me share a small caveat with you. Everything that you consume, it doesn't matter if you consume it through hearing, through sight, through smell, through your mouth, through taste, through feeling, doesn't matter how you consumed it. It's going to be processed through your body and it's going to exit your body from five channels of elimination, which are your colon, your kidneys, your lungs, your skin. The fifth for women is our uterus. So if your channels of elimination are not open, meaning that you don't sweat on a regular basis and you go in and get body cavitation, you're going to have issues. If you are constipated and you go in for body cavitation, you're going to have issues. If you are dehydrated and you go in for body cavitation, you're going to have issues. If you have fibroid cysts and tumors already and you have horrific menstrual cycles and you go in for body cavitation, you are going to have issues. Now, what do the issues look like? They can be very minor to skin irritation, pimples, breakouts, et cetera, et cetera. It could go a little bit further to random pain here and there, joint pain. It can go a little bit further with dandruff in the hair, acne on the skin, acne on the butt. Your ankles could start swelling. And then it can go even further to where you're physically constipated. And now you have an obstruction in your colon. Do you see where I'm going with this? And I'm not downing the business of body cavitation. I'm totally not because it's needed. It's an excellent, excellent service. I actually use the wooden tools on the abdominal area when I have a person that really needs to go in, I need to break up some stuff. I use the wooden tools from body cavitation on my colonic table. So I'm not downing body cavitation. What I am a little bit skeptical about is, are we really helping women in the long run or are you just getting their money?
And here's the thing. I don't do body cavitation. So you guys roll with it. That's on you. However, when I have a client on my table, I give them everything they need from start to finish. I just don't explain to you the benefits of colon therapy, but I also go above and beyond to make sure that you are changing your diet. You are drinking the amount of water that you need to be drinking, that you understand that it's not just a colonic that's going to get you there. You got to do the work. You got to do the work. Health is a do-it-yourself project. It is not about going to get these aesthetic services done and thinking you can go get fat burger right after. So you got, these are women that have spoken to me, right? So I know what's happening. They'll go get the body cavitation. They'll go get the body shapers. Dehydrated up the yin yang because they sipping on Starbucks coffee. They're sipping on a, um, I don't even know what you call them. Those powerhouse drinks or those um, energy drinks is what I'm trying to say. Energy drinks, um, drinks with the whipped cream on top of it. And yeah, your waist looks snatched. But here's the thing, love. When you take all those eyelashes off, you take those layers of makeup off, you take all that body shape wear off, and your body falls out of this body shape wear, and you sit on the edge of the bed and you look at yourself for where you are right now, are you happy? Are you happy? Let's talk about it. Let's have these conversations. That's why colon therapy for me is so penetrative, pun intended. <laughs> it's so penetrative to change, really, really, really shift your habits. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. Let me tell you. So if you're constantly cutting corners about your health, then your health is going to cut corners with you. I made a comment in my last video about not wanting to clean the bathtub out because you don't want to clean the bathtub out. But here's the thing. You're cleaning the bathtub out to take a bath for you, for your wellness. And you don't want to do it but you'll hop up in a quick two minutes to go give brother man whatever he need. You'll hop up real quick to go get your girlfriend whatever she need. But when it comes to your wellness, oh, that's too much money, Mo. Or, oh, I can't do cars for seven days. Like, oh, uh-uh, I can't do that. Or I got to take a bath. You don't have to do nothing. Let me just tell you that and be very clear about it. My wellness is A-OK. -okay. I ain't got no health issues. I'm fertile myrtle. Ain't nothing wrong with my JJ. I just paid $2,000 on my chumpers. My chumpers are good. I take care of my skin. My hair is growing constantly. I ain't got no issues. You are the one in my office saying what you don't like and what you want to change and how you have to change because health is an issue now. But are you ready? And I'm not here to challenge you. I'm just here to educate. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to educate and to hold space when you're ready. So when you're doing these body cavitations, really ask yourself, are you doing it to cut corners? Or are you doing it to expedite your wellness? Let's think about it. You know, take a moment and think about it. And I'm not here again to down anybody who does body cavitation because, again, I use the wooden tools in my abdominal massage. I think it's fabulous, but I also follow it up with a colonic. And I educate people about the water that's needed to flush your five channels of elimination out. If you're not flushing, where do you think that waste is going to go? Your body is going to reabsorb the waste. But here's the problem. Your body can't reuse waste because it's already waste. 
So now that waste shows up as a foreign object in the body, now you're going to get diagnosed with the disease. Diseases are created. You don't just get a disease. It's created. So I just want you to think about that for a second before you start really thinking that you need this for your body. It's very rare somebody needs it, but it can help. It definitely can help in your well-being. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know. Um, my website is Moya, M-O-Y-A, bodycare.com, MoyaBodyCare.com. My phone number is 562-682-0818. And my private office is located in Torrance, California. Until then, be blessed and think about what you're doing before you do it. All right, loves. Have a good night.